Hello, I'm back and today we're gonna make an authentic egg fried rice. So the thing about fried rice is it's all about the rice and everything else complements the rice. You wanna grab dry ingredients that goes well with the rice and these are the ingredients that you will need. Green onions, six eggs, sweet Chinese sausages, a whole knob of garlic, sesame seed oil, you need about a tray of leftover rice and this rice needs to be sitting in the fridge for at least overnight. Some oyster sauce, rendered pork lard and just about an inch of ginger. So the important aspects of a good fried rice is mainly using ingredients that has, does not have lots of moisture. So you want to have dried ingredients like dry Chinese sausages or ingredients that does not have too much moisture in it. I'm only using garlic, some eggs, some, a little bit of ginger and these green onions is just going to be put at the last. And if you do notice, I use, I'm using oyster sauce and not soy sauce because there's less moisture in oyster sauce and it's more thicker. And you don't want to have a soggy fried rice. You want to have fried rice that maintains its bite and at the same time absorbs all the flavors from all the other ingredients. And it's very important to use leftover fried rice from the night before. See, I'm not using usual vegetable oil. I'm using animal fat oil. So this is rendered pork lard. So what I've done is I took a big piece of pork fat, cut into small pieces and rendered it in a saucepan until it becomes a big chunk of buttery fat just like that and it's actually much healthier for you for you compared to vegetable oils and it just gives it that really rich flavor that fried rice always has so let's get to cooking so what we're gonna do is to chop all of these up into tiny small tiny pieces So now after chopping all of these up into small tiny pieces, you want to break all these eggs, put them in a bowl and mix it up. Right now let's hop on over to the stove. I am using a classical black Chinese wok. So this is one of the most important utensils you need for any stir fry, especially for fried rice. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the biggest part of the stove, light it up and heat it up so hot that it starts smoking and that's when you know it's ready to cook. The wok is pretty much smoking. It's like really, really hot now. So what this does, what this does, it, it creates this sort of natural non-stick characteristic to the wok and this is what you really want. You have to heat the wok up before putting any type of oil on that wok. You see how smoky it is right now? That's perfect. Right on, so now I'm gonna put the pork lard, about a tablespoon, like so. Maybe half of that, full teaspoon, a tablespoon. And just spoon it right into the wok. Let it, let it melt. Using two wooden spatulas, this is two wooden spatulas to stir everything up. So once the oil is all melted out, you wanna spread the oil out until it covers most of the surface area, the working surface area of the wok. As you can see, it's really nice and hot. And then put your egg in. Basically, just scramble your egg. I use two wok, two spatulas. I'm just gonna slowly cook it. And as you can see, none of the egg is sticking to the pan. None of the egg is sticking. At all. Just gonna lift it up just like that. And at this point, I could actually break it up. And you wanna get rid of all the moisture. You want this cooked 100%. And just leave it. Keep breaking it and then leave it. Breaking it and leave it. And this is on high heat. And now it's pretty much dry. Now it's really, really dry. And this is the consistency and texture. 
moisture that you want, but you don't want it too dry. So that's done. And that's what you want. Heat up the wok again until it's nice and smoky. Put more pork lard in it. And then I'm gonna add the whole bulb of garlic in. The entire bowl of garlic. Minced garlic and also minced ginger. Put it in there. And just stir fry. You don't want to, you don't want to burn the garlic. You just want to cook, but not burn. And now I'm gonna add the Chinese sausage, the sweet Chinese sausage. It's okay. Take your time. You don't. At this point, you do not need a high heat. It's unnecessary. You just want the flavors to come out from the garlic and also the Chinese sausage. So as you can see, they're nice and bubbling. They're not burnt yet. You want to char the rice, but not the garlic. Otherwise, otherwise it gets too bitter. I'm gonna get my rice ready, and when this is done, I'm gonna put the entire batch of dried rice, and it's cooked, by the way, dry in, into there on high heat. Right, I'm gonna put the egg back into there, put the entire batch of rice, and you want to break them up a little bit before pouring it into the wok. So this is where the technique comes in. Take two spatulas and keep mixing on high heat. All right, do not break the rice too much. Just carry it from the bottom to the top. What you want to do is coat the oil around the rice. So the rice absorbs the flavor of the oil with the flavor of the Chinese sausage and also the garlic that's in there. Just keep doing that. So we're almost done with the rice. I'm just gonna let it sit with the wok and mix it up a little bit. I want that char, it's not charred just almost yet, so I'm just gonna sit in the wok for a little bit more. A little bit more salt. Alrighty, I've turned off the heat. I think it's good enough, it's done. And I don't know if you can see this, but some parts of the Chinese sausages and the eggs and the rice, they're tiny bit charred and this is the perfect amount of char to rice ratio that you want. So all that's left is the garnish of the green onions and also the sesame oil. Alrighty, and all that's left is get your green onions, sprinkle it all over, some sesame seed oil. There we have it. Huh? And there we have it. Fried rice. Lucia, she's gonna she's gonna try it out first. No hungry No Okay, la, let the pig, okay, la. See you, 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 see you